It's that time again. It's another great day to go fishing on the world's greatest planet, Earth. And here on Earth, there is a fishing spot so legendary, the Algonquins referred to it as the Great Water. This remarkable spot has been one of my most closely guarded secrets, but today, I share it with you. Grab your rod and tackle box and come along with me as we journey to the mythical land of Michigan. Oh guys, there's a couple really big gar right there. Not the target for today, but that's cool to see. Starting out here with the laugh and leech pattern. It's a jig pattern I tied up. One eighth ounce jig head fishing it on the ultralight. And uh, some of these fish might have us outmatched on the ultralight that I've seen so far, but we're gonna give it our best. See how many smallies we can catch in here. Got one. Don't spook all your buddies. There we go. Fish number one. That wasn't too bad a fight on the ultralight, but there are bigger ones in here. Let's get this one back and see if we can get another one. Guys, there are so many fish in here and some of them are quite a bit bigger than that one. Let's see if we can get another. Got another one. Ah, guys, we might have ourselves a day today. Smalley number two on the laughing leech. Go ahead and tidy up my jig a bit. All right, guys, let's get back in there. See if we can get smalley number three. Got number three. It might be about every cast today, guys. Super, super fun on the ultralight as well. Ugh. There it is, fish number three. All right, we're getting up into that 15 inch range right now. That one might be 15. Beautiful specimen back in the river. They are absolutely loaded under this bridge, you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna move. We could probably stay here and catch 100. The rod I'm using today is a St. Croix Trout Series six foot ultralight fast action rod. We got the Daiwa QZ750 ultralight reel. This is an awesome combo for ultralight fishing. Doesn't matter what you're targeting because it's a St. Croix rod and they can handle just about anything. Got another one. Oh no, it came off, came off, came off. That was a smaller fish right there. I'm telling you guys this laugh and leech pattern, the black colored leech patterns are absolutely electric. Oh guys, look at these gigantic gar passing through here. There's not a chance that they'd eat this jig, but how cool is that? Amazing. I might have to downsize to a 1 16th ounce jig head and I have mustache minnows with me and I think we're gonna start really really catching them when I downsize the weight. Fighters man. All of them. Smally number four, back he goes. There's one. This one gave up fighting pretty much immediately and that's because it's a rock bass. Huh, not a smally, but that's rock bass number one. Got one. Pretty nice smally here. Ooh. Definitely the biggest one of the day, I think. Ooh. Look at that. Biggest one of the day here. Might be 16 and a half pushing 17. It's a nice fish. All right, these guys are really beating up my jig. I'm probably gonna make a switch here. I wanna downsize the weight anyway, 
and then we can fish it slower and I think catch at an even faster rate than we are now. All right guys, had to stop and change the battery, but I'm switching over here to the mustache minnow. This is a hyper realistic bait fish pattern. And from my experience so far, it's basically unstoppable. I have a feeling we're about to light it up even more than we already have. By making this switch, I'm also downsizing to 1 16th of an ounce, which is gonna let us fish slower. It's really shallow through here. I was having trouble keeping that last jig off the bottom. I had to keep it going kind of fast. Got one. On the mustache minnow. Dodge the net. There we go. Another decent one here. All right, we're at six smallies and one rock bass. Let's keep it going. Got one. <laughs> this will be number seven. Two on the mustache minnow. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> Not the biggest one of the day, but maybe the best fighter. There we go. Number seven, two on the mustache minnow. Got one. <clears throat> I forgot where I was in the counting. I think I'm gonna stop counting now, but that's three on the mustache minnow. Oh, <laughs> graceful release. Got one. Another one on the mustache minnow. It's almost too easy. Ooh. Except for the netting part. That's a nice one there. Might be the heaviest one of the day. It's definitely got a full belly. Let's get her back in the water here as quick as we can. Beautiful fish. Nice healthy release. Guys, there's really something about being in the water and fishing with lures and uh, flies that you made yourself. It's just uh, makes it a whole different experience. I'd say more rewarding. Not that I don't love conventional fishing and I'm going to continue doing that and using my store-bought lures, I love that stuff, but there's something about this I just absolutely, absolutely love. Got another one? <sighs> I gotta say I love fishing for smallies with the ultralight though. It's just a blast, a beautiful thing. Like I said, I'm done counting, but we're really racking them up here. As you guys can see, they've really roughed up my mustache minnow. I just beat it on the water a few times, get it back into that minnow shape, and we're ready to catch another one here. It's an absolutely beautiful day out here, guys. So far this spring, this is definitely the best weather that I've had for fishing. And I am loving every second of this right now. Got one. <laughs> I think this smallie has come after it and chased it a few times, but that's the first time it was willing to bite. Oh, don't go that way. I see a really big small mouth. We don't want to spook it. Got a pretty decent one on, but there's a bigger one under the bridge. There is a bigger one under the bridge. It might be a 20 incher. All right, guys, look at this one. Pretty darn decent. And on the ultralight, it's a formidable opponent. I love catching big smallies on the ultralight. Oh, hit it on the fall. <laughs> That's when you know your pattern is good when you don't even have to sell it to them. They just smoke it on the fall. 
<laughs> Mustache minnow is king. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there, guy. All right, smallmouth number, who's counting? I'm catching a ton of them. I'm having a ton of fun. I'm enjoying nature and I'm knocking them down with hand-tied jigs. Life couldn't be better at the moment. It has been a really tough week for me at work and with other areas of my life, but right now that's not what I'm thinking about. And that's a good thing. I got no need for alcohol, no need for drugs, no need for anything else. Fishing is my drug. All right, guys, just had to change the GoPro battery, so I'm making a switch. I'm gonna go ahead and move up toward the mouth of the river. I'm gonna see if I can find another hole loaded with smallies. And I've switched over to the Arctic hair jig, which is the first jig pattern I came up with. And it has also been the most productive and caught the biggest fish out of all my jigs. I would say this is my confidence jig, so let's see if we can go add to that confidence. I'm seeing some activity in this corner over here. I'm really seeing fish all around me, guys. They're just everywhere. Just look how beautiful this creek is, you guys. It's absolutely outstanding. Got one. <laughs> right off the bat. Woo! We might have a field day on the Arctic hair jig, guys. <laughs> Probably any of the patterns I brought today would catch them. But this one right here, this one right here never fails. Ho oh, ho ho. Love it. Absolutely love it. Smallie number 114. Going back in. Fish right there. Oh. <laughs> Got one. <laughs> he missed it and came back. Oh yeah. Oh no, come on. There we go. <laughs> oh man, that's a good one there. Nice meaty smallie. Back into the river. Got one. <laughs> Got a handful of short strikes there. Finally one took it. Oh, he did let go. Dang it. All right, guys, I've got hit about 10 times and it almost seems like they're uh, defensive strikes. They're not trying to eat it. It's getting hit every time, but they're just kind of smashing it in the side and trying to drive it away. I'm not sure they see it as food so much as a threat to their eggs and they're really not trying to commit to it. We may have to revert back to the mustache minnow, but let's give this a little bit longer. Because like I said, it's getting hit every time. It's just uh, not getting eaten. Just got hit again. Just got hit again. <laughs> It's getting hit three or four times on every cast. They're just not taking it. It'd be silly not to make an adjustment, right? As much as I love the Arctic hair jig, if it's not quite getting it done, we need to adjust. Got one. <laughs> Finally got one to commit. Ooh. All right, finally, another nice one. This time on the Arctic hair jig, maybe we will give it a bit longer. Got another one. <laughs> Very next cast. Oh, oh, he threw it. He deserves it. That was a great jump. He deserves to get away. I was trying to make sure I drove that hook in and he used that momentum for that amazing jump and threw it. Got 
got one. <laughs> Couple short strikes and then finally got one swimming right at me. Oh, pff. man. Can't keep them pinned on the Arctic hair jig. All right, guys, this spot might look familiar. I just traveled up the river a ways and I tried a couple of different jig patterns, but I just wasn't having very much success. I was getting a ton of strikes, but they weren't eating it and getting hooked up. So I only caught a couple up the river. I'm not sure how many of those I'll even include in the video because we're just going to make this a bridge fishing video. I can see that they're still loaded up in here. I'm going to go ahead and see if we can get a few more before it gets too dark to fish here. Got the mustache minnow back on. There is a chance that the bite just died and we won't catch any more here, but we'll see. All the strikes I've been getting recently have seemed like defensive strikes. They're not trying to eat it. Got one <laughs> on the fall. Let's try and get it out from under the bridge before it spooks all the rest of them. Ooh, that's a nice one. Ooh, ooh. Loosen my drag here a little bit. Oh, this might be the best one of the day, guys. Oh, yep, that's the best one of the day right there. Big old female. Might be tied with our best one of the day. Probably about 16 and a half, 17 inches. Get our mustache minnow straightened out here. Once again, definitely the winning pattern of today. And there will be a link in the description to the tutorial that I made for tying these up in case you guys want to try them out. And they are deadly effective for smallies, largies, really anything that will eat a small bait fish will eat the mustache minnow. Got another one. <laughs> Very next cast, you guys. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> Man, big one's up under the bridge right now. Almost as big as the last one. Another nice smallie there. Great fight on the ultralight. All right, let's see if we can get another one. Sun's going down. Clock is ticking. That one came really fast after the last one. Got one. <laughs> Starting to think I was done catching them for the day and got one more. There we go. Another smallie right before it gets dark here. All right, I believe it is getting too dark for you guys to see anymore. So I am gonna call it quits here, but had a fantastic day hammering smallies that were loaded up under this bridge on a few different hand tied jig patterns. The winning pattern today was hands down the mustache minnow. If you guys did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.